it's Tony Freeman with an update on the graphene concrete. Uh, it's going extremely well. Uh, over the last two, uh, two and a half months I've conducted over 400 experiments, tried different app formulations, different processes and have some great updates for you. So what I have here is a test hammer and I'm going to explain a bit, little bit more about this right now. Okay, so what we have here is the test hammer and we've been using this for our own internal testing. Uh, it's an industry standard uh, tool um, and it gives a really good indication of strength within the concrete composites. So when we try out different formulations, uh, we've been using this, to, as I mentioned previously, to try and uh, give a, an indication for on the right path. So how it works is that you press down uh, the hammer onto the concrete block and it bounces up and gives a reading of newtons uh, per at square millimetre, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Oh my god, that's 52 newtons. Uh, this block was made uh, within BS 206 Part 1 regulations. Um, it's really important that that's obviously highlighted. In terms of uh, performance with, with dead chaff, the normal block. Um, I, without the graphene would normally register between 26 to 28 newtons per square millimetres and ours registered at 52. Uh, so again we're going to send this off and uh, we'll keep it posted. So while me and Steve were off, I mean, Steve was basically on the golf course and I was sitting around drinking coffee and eating cake, Tony, who's a workaholic, was slaving over a new formulation. So he spent two weeks while we were on holiday doing this. Fantastic. That's, that's real dedication. But anyway, while we were off on holiday, Tony made this. Now, he tells me what was in his mind was he was thinking, OK, it's great to do stuff to exacting scientific standards. That's fantastic. But who in real life actually does that? I mean, if you're making up some cement or some concrete to use in your building project, you do not take the kind of care you find in the British standard. You don't weigh everything out to the microgram, you don't soak it for seven days and cure it properly. You basically get your cement mixer, chuck a few shovelfuls of stuff in, wait till it looks right, and that depends on your experience, and pour it in the hole. That's what you do. And in his mind it was, it's great to have such nice results because you can get cross comparison. But what would you actually get if you did it in real life? So Tony did an approximation of real life. Essentially, he just got some stuff, chucked it in, mixed it up, brought it into the mould, stuck it outside for a week. And after a week, he dragged it back in to see what it was actually like, and he measured this one. And this is a result of Tony's um, real life simulation. And this has a really fantastic result, actually. Despite the complete and utter lack of care, the graphene added to this concrete produces a strength of material that exceeds what you would expect from a carefully cured block. It's awesome. Tony will give you the fix in a minute, but that's just a fantastic result because this actually represents what you would do in reality. Of course we're doing the scientific stuff because we need the comparison, but we're really interested in what you'd get if you were making it. Thank you, Rob. Okay, so a test block um, would register between 14 to 16 newtons uh, per square millimeter um, after um, seven days. After 28 days, it would register between 26 and 28. And our block, which we basically left in really bad conditions, registered at 26 newtons. Now that is pretty cool. Right, guys. So uh, what's just occurred to me is we have a massive concrete car park out there. So just going to do a, a random test to see what the strength of the concrete of the car park is. Recording is 34 newtons, second recording is 32, and the third test was 28 newtons per square. Okay, so this normal block here um, that anyone can make outperforms a test block which uh, has to be made under certain conditions in a lab. So that is awesome. Uh, so what we have here is the graphene oxide block, um, and it, again. We're really uh, excited by, by these results. Um, if you actually uh, look at it, it's, it's slightly damp. We're only just taking it out. Um, but this has been curing for seven days, and this registered at 33 newtons per, per uh, square millimetre. And we're really, really happy with this result as well. Um, but where we actually think that graphene oxide would benefit in the concrete industry would be for flexibility, and that's going to be our next test. 
Right guys, uh, we've had some amazing results and we're going to send this off for independent verification. Um, so we're going to keep you posted on, on all the test results uh, as and when they happen. Um, really looking forward to doing the uh, flexural testing and the um, uh, elasticity tests that are coming up. We've also got slump tests um, uh, planned in, in the near future. So obviously you can see uh, how easy it is to work with material. I can obviously tell you now that it's very easy to work with. Um, but I want you to see that for yourself. So we'll be posting some videos very shortly on those uh, tests. Uh, so just to summarise, this is 52 newtons per uh, square millimetre. We're really, really excited. We've got um, the uh, graphene oxide at, uh, set after seven days at 33 uh, newtons. And we've got the standard uh, block that anyone can make uh, at 26 uh, newtons after seven days and that is pretty cool so thank you very much guys for watching and I look forward to your comments okay so this block here obviously badly made uh, under uh, really poor conditions um, outperforms a normal block uh, <laughs> right <laughs>